Hey guys, my name is Fanis and today I'm be leading you to another video of mine. So one of my I guess one of the problems is it's like in C what if you want to make a list or let's say you want to make an object of something and you actually want to actually see what you're typing, right? Or you know, um show uh you want them to you want to actually see what's inside your list so going back to one of my previous videos i don't know if you watched or not i made a workout routine and i was thinking like what if i could see what's inside my workouts or what's in the list so today i'm going to actually be showing you guys how to actually solve that problem by using a for loop and you can think of a for loop as something or like a i guess you could say a shortcut version of a while loop because if you already know how to do a while loop already you don't really need to do a for loop a for loop is basically just a, a shortened version of it let's do io stream let's get started with this include uh, we can do a victor yeah let's do victor since we're gonna be using the old Program. And let's uh, make our main. Oh, I forgot. Using namespace std. Let's do turn main. Alright, ice. Let's make that main function get it going. Alright, let's see. What did I put in my last one? So it's going to be vector. We're calling the vector. It's going to be string type vector for the whole list. And let's say doing. Oh, nope. Was it workouts? <laughs> Think for a second. Let's name it. Workouts. There we go. And then let's add a string type. And we call this work. And then. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make a, the user interface again. Instead of doing a do while loop, we're just going to do a while loop. So this while loop will continue as long as work does not equal done. Cool. Inside this while loop, we're going to do the user interface. So we're gonna say C out what is your I'll say hello. You know we gotta greet people. Is my schedule right? Yeah. <laughs> what is your workout? What is your workout schedule? Say done. And the list. Nice. All right, and we're going to end the line over here. Cool. And then we're going to write a get line function or a get line CN. And we're going to store the user input into the work variable. Nice. Cool, cool. Now we're going to actually store it into, store the user input into the vector. So we're going to do workouts dot push back and work. Oh, did I do it wrong? Oh, I forgot the L. I put back. I'm going to do work. Nice. There we go. And now we're going to write an if statement. So reason why we're doing an if statement, because if this condition is met while in the while loop, we want to, uh, to see the list. And we're going to want to see that list. We're, we're going to use a function called a for loop for the current list of the items inside 
of the workout list that we're making. If that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if I confused you or not. So let's actually do that. So if, let's write that if statement. So we do if work is equal to show. Oops. We don't want to do, we do double equal sign. There we go. Yee. Uh, if work is equal to show, we're going to do a doing, what was it? Workouts dot pop back. There we go. Cool. And then now we're time for for loops. So I'm going to do a for loop and 10. Say i is going to be equal to zero, so we're going to start out from zero or well, one actually. Mm, oops, we do a is equal, it's going to be less than workouts dot size. There we go. All right, no errors so far. It looks clean. And now we're gonna do I plus plus. So we'll continue the add. Nice. And then the conditions for this, we're gonna say we're gonna see out I, and we're gonna start counting at not zero. We wanna start counting at one. So we're gonna add one to each output. So it'll be zero plus one is one, one plus one is two, two plus one is three, and just keep adding onto that list. I forgot my other right there. And then we're gonna do a dot. What's actually yeah? Let's do period for after each number and a space. And now we're going to do workouts. Still from the index of this. Uh, and now I. And we're going to do inline. So now it will output uh, whatever is stored in the vector workouts. And it will keep going between each line and adding the next variable or the next string variable onto the following line. And we actually, does this end, this end? We want end line over here. And then we're gonna do workouts. <laughs> I said pop back. There we go, pop back twice. Nice. And I return zero. Huh, did I use that All right? Okay, my main's over here. Two welts over here, this over here, this over here. Is this just like, just standing out for no reason? That's totally weird. Let go, so let me check. So that's my main function, good. Uh, that's my while loop. There's my if statement. And then here's my for loop. Cool. All right, let's actually run this bad boy. Hello, what is your workout schedule? Say done to end the list. So let's say 10 push up. 10 jumping jacks, 20 squats, 15 rowboat, uh, and let's end it right over there. So like, let's show, so let's say show. All right, cool. So like, we have 10 push-ups, 10 jumping jacks, 20 
squats, <laughs> squats, I spell that wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then the 15 rowboats. All right, so everything looks good on the list. So we can just say done and we're into the program. Right there. Thanks guys, I'll see you guys later.